What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I just called Jujutsu Kaisen Zero the movie and goddamn was it good. Now this video is a short review to let you guys know that in my opinion, it's absolutely worth every penny and every dollar for you guys to catch it in the theaters if you are a fan of the anime. To keep it spoiler free, I won't be sharing too much of the story but Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is based off the manga by Akutani Sensei and the movie revolves around Yuta Okutsu who joins Jujutsu High School and unravels his story as a sorcerer and it is a prequel to the animation Jujutsu Kaisen. Now if you haven't watched that anime, do that. I don't know what you're doing, please go watch it, whatever platform, it's super good. Action scenes are solid man. Now the film runs around an hour and 45 minutes long and the story is super clean. It was exciting throughout and the pacing in my opinion was pretty perfect. There were really great moments from the character's development and I felt that every character, whether they are the protagonist or not, had their time and every one of them were captivating in their own way. Now if you have watched the anime, you will notice a lot of familiar faces, especially the senior cast, Toge Yunomaki, Maki Zenin and even Panda and Cross Gojo's sensei can miss him out. Now with Mapa on the animation, honestly I expected no less and boy it was alright. The action scene was just mind blowing and I only wish some of the fighting scenes lasted a little longer. But don't worry about it, there's plenty enough of action scenes and slow moments so it's a great balance of both. And there's one particular thing about how Mapa did the animation for this movie. While the entire film felt similar and familiar if you've watched Jujutsu Kaisen the anime, the way they animated the characters in contrast to the steel backgrounds had a little different and unique feel to it. While still similar in some way, the movie had its own style and I just felt like it was super fresh and super awesome, no cap. And in between all the fights, the curses and all these different characters, I think the film still manages to balance between the narrative of Okutsu and his development, his character and even the romance and his struggles. I would personally give the film a 9.5 out of 10 but I'm pretty biased, I'm just gonna lay it out. I'm just gonna express how much I enjoy Maki Zenin and Subu Gekko's characters in the film. I just absolutely love both of them and even though Subu is a villain, he had his time even though it was short but I loved it. And the OST was also great from start to finish and the closing theme song by King Nu, spot on. One last thing about the movie is that you don't actually have to watch Jujutsu Kaisen in the anime or even read the manga at all to enjoy it all together. It can even be a great starting point for those who want to get into Jujutsu Kaisen. I highly recommend it. In summary, I absolutely love it and I don't think any fan should miss this uh, movie at all. And there's also one post credit scene so do stay tuned and sit tight at the end of the show. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the review and if you do like this sort of content, do let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It would really help me out and give a like to the video. I will see you guys in the next unboxing.